Yo, what up, what up, what up? Native Raider here. And in today's quick video, we're gonna be talking about the new Life Alt campaign. I had just completed on Legendary and I wanted to share my initial thoughts with you. I'd also love to hear your take on it as well, so feel free to let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you don't want any spoilers, pause this video and come back when you finish with the campaign. So without further ado, let's get it. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran so to no man, I still go. Go, 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 go. All right, so I will not go through every detail of the campaign because I really want you to go and enjoy it for yourself. But first off, I got to applaud Bungie as the cinematics in this expansion were absolutely incredible. The music was amazing. The feeling of, oh shit, this is really the beginning to the end really sunk in. We start off with a war in the sky and then jump into some cabal drop pods and land ourselves on Neptune or more specifically the city of Neo Muna. And this place looks beautiful. The artists and designer teams really outdid themselves from war torn areas to the peaceful puka pond or even the mural street art it was gorgeous and i found myself just looking around and appreciating the details that were put into this we got introduced to the cloud striders and i personally found them to be awesome additions to the game i didn't realize the dudes are like double our height and hit the gym on the daily i know there's already some hate for my guy nimbus but i really like the character that he portrays nimbus is just a happy lighthearted dude even though shit is going down you gotta think cloud striders only live 10 years so why not enjoy the little time you have and be happy. We all are able to learn something from the homie. After a few missions, we make our way to Kalos' ship and fight through it. And by the way, tormentors are dicks, and we'll talk about them later. We also continue learning Strand, and bro, I gotta tell you, that was so much fun. I can't wait to create my first build, and best believe it will be a banger, so you should probably subscribe so you don't miss it. A few missions later, we get to what was by far my favorite part, and it was an epic battle with us and Kaido and her army against the Shadow Legion. There were so many ads, and they really weren't messing around. We also got to use strand for this as well this was probably the best encounter i've played in all my hours in this game and i am looking forward to doing it two more times with my other characters then soon enough we ran down to the depths of the facility and go head to head with callus himself i will be honest callus wasn't as tough as i thought he would be i mean it was a, it was an okay fight but i expected a little bit more out of a character that has been renowned in the story for such a long time i was more shook by the tormentors than of callus but either way we kill him we call it rap the campaign all in all was amazing and and really progress the story further along i'm excited to jump into the seasonal missions and see where it goes from there i thought the difficulty level on legendary was perfect in my opinion it wasn't crazy hard but it also made you pay attention to what you were doing there was a good balance of the amount of ads and their tanky health pools tormentors were great addition as well and were definitely ones to pay attention to once these assholes locked onto me i felt the pressure for sure and their crit spot was a pain because they were constantly moving constantly jumping but overall they were fun to fight against the new subclass strand was also introduced and has been a vocal point of the hype for a while now leading up to the launch of this expansion and i will say with 100 percent honesty i absolutely loved it and it lived up to the expectations every time we saw that ball of green linguine floating in the sky we all got hyped flying around and comboing with melees was so much fun the titan uh bayant leap exotic really came in clutch a few times throughout the story when ads got kind of overwhelming and you know suspending them and regrouping and and figuring out what you're gonna do next i do have to ask was anyone else completely devastated when we randomly lost our strand abilities and became quote unquote exhausted? I know I was. It was like coming down off the best high ever. There are definitely some interesting new weapons and perks that were added into the game in this expansion, but I want to do some more testing and experimenting with them before I pass my own judgment. Was there any that stuck out to you? Let me know down in the comments below. Lastly, there were a couple glitches that made its appearance in my first playthrough. One was absolutely hilarious to my team when it happened to me. Somehow I got stuck from the knees down in the floor box and it caused me to move around like I was in an infinite slide. It was annoying, but at least the team got a good laugh out of it. Also, there was a glitch somehow Crucible and Grips did not get deleted from last season. Unfortunately, I was trying to be a responsible guardian and I prepped, I cleared out everything before Seasons of the Seraph ended, so no benefit to me. But my son, he nearly hit soft cap early in the campaign on our first tower visit. Anyways, ladies and gents, I just wanted to give you my quick thoughts and impressions on the new campaign and if you would like to hear more about Destiny, consider subscribing to this channel. Also, I plan on to go into this in much more detail on my podcast with my co-host Sweaty Spooks this weekend, so check it out. You can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and we have a Discord. Links will all be in the description below. And as always, I appreciate you watching to the end. And if you did enjoy that video, please hammer strike that like, shoot that sub, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.